Today in the program, weaving roads and paths in a single transport unit, delivering of any goods from one point to another, overcoming boundaries and distances, or a story of success in the logistics business. Trucking is a kind of blood flowing in the veins of almost any business, production, and just everyday life. Even in ancient times, merchants bringing goods from distant lands were in the greatest esteem and had the greatest benefit. Today, when people like to buy oranges from Morocco, spices and tea from India, and everyday goods from China, logistics has become a truly difficult area of business covering the entire globe and all modes of transport invented by mankind. The hero of today's program is Dimitri Kempel. Well known in the field of Kazakh logistics, no wonder since he has been in the business for three decades and it became a matter of life for him. Shipping logistics is a very interesting and engrossing business. We love it and know everything about it from the beginning to the end. Shipping logistics is a broad idea. It is not built by one characteristic only. It is shipping by train, car, planes, all kind of transport. So it is our specialization. Also our business includes warehousing, cargo handling and a custom house. Dimitri's way into logistics emerged by itself. Everything initially prepared him to work in this particular direction. In the beginning of the 90s, I lived alongside a train station, so my first work experience was at a big, huge industrial facility. I worked there as a loader. I loaded cargo and watched how a loaded train went away. Perhaps it moved me to choose this specialization. Then I studied in detail that business at university. My diploma work was dedicated to logistics. At that time it was called material and technical supply. I think it was just the beginning. Before my own business, I was engaged in logistics for more than 25 years. First I worked in one company, then in another. In other words, it was my own conscious decision. It is really the thing I do love and I don't want to change it. I just want to master it. Having a 25-year experience, I've already known that it is not the time to stop learning this field. Indeed, Dimitri is one of the few representatives of this business who started to work even in the planned economy of the USSR. When logistics was completely different, and went all the way to the development of the logistics market from the beginnings of its birth to the formation of the modern system. The thing that came useful in my future profession was work at an agricultural machine building factory. I worked in the supply department. It was in the 90s. First, I worked as a stock manager. I engaged with product supplying, traveled all around the USSR. Probably from there I had love and recognition in what I want to do. It was the strongest impression that moved me to this field. When the Soviet system collapsed, Dmitry began to try his hand at private shipping companies. The system was only forming, market rules evolved literally in process. After that, I concerned myself with brokerage. Yes, I was a broker. I went to custom houses, executed documents for shipping, did custom clearance and vice versa, exported and imported, so then I became a director of a warehouse for a temporary storage company. After, we had purely logistics issues during five to six years. Next, I met Alexander and we went into business together. In fact, the critical point for Dmitri was a meeting with his current companion, Alexander Holtz. They quickly found a common language in the face of their favorite business, and the proposal by Alexander led to the current company. 
Any business must be started from something. We are afraid for sure, but over time you will have experience in business like life experiences. I always like that field because you always communicate with people, meet new people, you always have something new, probably, and this reason inspired me to choose this way. The shipping market is a very extensive business. It covers a huge range of specific types of transport, customs, features of different countries and transport routes, very different from each other. Therefore, almost every shipping company has its own strong point, their own speciality. Our specialty is trucking activities of any category, including dangerous and oversized cargo. Our main route is CIS countries, and we ship from Russia, Ukraine to Kazakhstan, within Kazakhstan, and also to Central Asian countries, including China. Currently, routes we often use or feel comfortable and know in detail are within Kazakhstan and from Russia to Kazakhstan. Expect that our geography is very wide from Murmansk to Vladivostok. Business of our heroes is very difficult. It contains a huge number of risks, problems and difficulties barely affecting other areas of business. Many people remember the wild roar racket in the 90s, almost the crumbling road network and lack of regulatory framework of the logistics market. This is a thing of the past, but many difficulties still exist and sometimes new ones are added. Russia fixed the federal way payment since December. Naturally, it bears hard upon carriers, you and me too, because it affects production costs. The system works not so well yet, but anyway, no big deal. The main problem is road quality, because it always has an impact on the quality of goods. But Kazakhstan has recently begun to pay much attention to it, and I'm sure in several years the road Horgos Uralsk will be finished. It will lighten our work much. Over the years, the company formed a special team that not only knows but loves his job, from executives to each individual driver. And amid the global crisis and the general decline in the market, the partners decided that their main asset is that the employees should not suffer from this. I believe the crisis will end soon, but the team will always exist. So we have decided that we must hold our employees and keep working. Therefore, we didn't reduce personnel, but even maintain their salaries. In order to achieve this, Dmitry and Alexander had to be able to keep their loyal customers and find new ones. After all, competition in this area has now become very hard. The local market hosts Russian logistic companies too. The logistic market is very rich here in Kazakhstan. There are many competitors, but not all of them know their business. Vice versa, there are opponents smarter, bigger than us, but we still remain different from our competitors. The first is by our transparency. We are honest with our clients, of course, we have many problems, but we never hide them, but try to fix them by joining forces. The second is by competitive prices. Yes, we offer competitive prices at this market under those conditions. Freight insurance is the third. In other words, we guarantee our clients we work with not one or two years, but since founding of our company, we guarantee cargo delivery and safety from acceptance moment till delivery. Sure, there may be many problems on the road, since automobile transportation is considered one of the dangerous and risky kind of transportations. 
In order to secure our business and our clients, we ensure our activity. It is a must-have. Also, we ensure the freight. It lets us minimize losses, but our company has never faced any accidents. Why? Because all cars and drivers we work with were tested several times, so they almost never set us back. That's why we can guarantee quality and a well-timed delivery. Having mobile business, Dmitry Kempel even rests in a mobile way. His ideal vacation for someone may seem rather tedious. The whole family supports Dmitry Kempel's passion for travel and sports. Мы на своей машине объехали весь Казахстан, объехали всю Киргизию, объехали Таджикистан. By our car, we have traveled all Kazakhstan, Tajikistan. We were also at Baikal. Such a wonderful hobby of us. We let children know how big the country is and how beautiful the world is. This is our hobby. We also travel to further countries like Nepal, Tibet, Cambodia. Our last trip was to Kamchatka that impressed us much. We also go to the mountains. We have learned the mountains of Tibet, Tajikistan and also our mountains. The mountains in Tajikistan are amazing. This year we have a new hobby, rafting. We've tried it at our rivers. Unfortunately, it doesn't work well yet, but we were impressed. We rafted on the Chilik River, then Turgenyu and Aksu. So we have a new family hobby. I hope we will keep doing it. My wife is an idea travel woman. She is an author of all of our activities. I have two children, a girl and a boy. My daughter is 19. She engages in sport in a professional way and is a member of the Kazakhstan Synchronized Swimming National Team. My son is 15 and he studies at school. Dmitry Kempel is a representative of the German diaspora in Kazakhstan. His ancestors many times moved to new lands of their own free will and also were forced. But having been born here, he considers himself a citizen of Kazakhstan and conducts his business with German thoroughness and Kazakh great-heartedness. In the beginning of the 90s, when the Soviet Union collapsed, there was no work. There was nothing, and many of my relatives moved to Germany since I am German. I decided to go to Germany after getting an education. I thought it was the right way. Thanks God I changed my mind. My desire to move just disappeared after two to three years more correctly after graduating. After all, I am a supporter of living where you were born. I do love my country. I love the people living here. Today, Dmitry and Alexander keep looking to the future positively because they do what they always wanted to do because they consistently provide a high level of services and can speak with pride about their level and also because their clients are their friends. As for the recipe for success seen by Dmitry Kempel, it is very simple and complex at the same time, a mix of beloved family and favorite work. I have both feet on the floor. I am confident. First of all, I have a wonderful family my back is covered. It is hard to express my words when your home is your castle. As for my job, yes, it is my favorite business. I deal with what I love and I am a professional. It is a job I have dedicated my life to and I want to master it.